Hi everyone, this is Brian with Anderson Pens, and today on My Favorite Pen, we're gonna talk about the Schaefer Imperial. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we have a Schaefer Imperial. This one is gold electroplated, and it's not much to look at. It's heavily brassed. Um, and it looks, it looks its age, but I really, really like this pen. Uh, Schaefer came out with the Imperial around 1960, and it came in a number of different variations. Early models were touchdown fill. Most Imperials you're gonna find are gonna be cartridge converter. Some are cartridge only. Basically, this is a slimmer, stripped down version of the famous PFM or pen for men. So let's take the cap off. They're friction fit caps, so they just slide right off, and they all feature this beautiful inlaid nib. Now there were some later Schaefer Imperials that had a conical nib, but for the purposes of this conversation, and for most collectors, they'll see this pen, this is the Imperial. It's got this beautiful inlaid nib, the same that was on the, the PFM, but it's a little bit more slender. If we post it, it's a little bit more manageable in the hand. And this particular example is cartridge converter only. So no more complicated snorkel filling systems. Basically unscrew the barrel. And in here we have their standard aerometric or squeeze converter. So to fill basically we're just gonna press this just like you would any other squeeze type converter. Uh, Pilot Con 20, uh, uh, lots of other squeeze type converters. But this basically just comes out. You can put a standard Schaefer cartridge in there, or if you'd like, on some models, you can fit the Schaefer piston converter. So this, this one would fit the current converter in here. There are some, like I say, that are only cartridge only, so even the aerometric doesn't fit, but this one is uh, quite versatile in that regard. Uh, like I say, this one has been heavily, heavily used, but this was one of the first, first pens I ever, I ever bought at an antique store probably one of the first uh, 10 or 15 pens I, I ever bought. Really a beautiful looking pen. And what I like about this pen a lot is this original stub nib. Uh, we'll do a writing sample here in a minute, but we take a look. If you look at the bottom side of this section here, you'll see there's really, there's not much, this is all integrated. And this feed doesn't really come out like a traditional feed. So this is uh, all one, tight package in here. So thread it on, it's real nice, it posts nice, and they all have this spring clip that really comes out a long way. So it's not going to, it's not gonna get bent in your pocket or if you have a, a jacket or something with th thick fabric, this is just gonna handle it quite easily. Uh, we've got the white dot here, which sim uh, symbolizes uh, symbol of quality, a lifetime warranty, but Nice 14 karat gold nib. So let's ink this up and write with it and then we'll compare with some of the other models that they made at the time. Okay, so here I have a bottle of uh, Kobe, uh, number 44. And basically, I'm just gonna put this in. I'm give a little squeeze here and you'll see bubbles come out. Usually you can do this about three, four times and wait a little bit and it'll fill just fine. Some models had stainless steel nibs, some models had gold. Really a nice Nice writing pen. And that stub nib is a little more unusual than your standard fine, medium, broad that you typically see on your Imperials. But very smooth, like you would expect a Schaefer nib to be. Let's compare it with a couple of other examples of other Imperials, because there's quite a large family of Imperials. So I've got a couple others here in case you see these in the wild. This one has uh, got a chrome cap. This is actually a touchdown model with what we call 
the dolphin nib. So collectors kind of term that because it's got a little bit of a, you can see the, the profile here, a little bit of a bulbous feed there. It just looks a little different, same idea, but this one operates just like a standard touchdown and it fills that way. Nice, nice uh, Lustreloy matte chrome cap. They also came with Lifetime imprinted on the nib. Now technically these were not called Imperials by Schaefer, they were called Lifetimes. But same idea, maybe a little bit different design here on the nib unit. And then here's a, here's a long blue. And again, some of these are cartridge converters, some of them are cartridge only. Each model is a little bit different. So when you find them, you have to uh, you have to make sure if you have a spare converter that it fits. Uh, and if it does, great. If not, it's going to be only Schaefer cartridges, which uh, you can still use the, the current version. So there you have it, the Schaefer Imperial, one of my favorite pens. Be sure to check us out online at AndersonPens.com or our stores in Appleton and Chicago. Thanks for watching. Thank you.